What is going on guys? My name is Micah with Crash Course Code and this is going to be the first video in a tutorial series on programming in Java. So in this series we're going to cover all of the major programming concepts that um, will help you get started in Java and also if you guys are completely new to programming or have very little programming experience I think this will be a good place to start for most of you just because in my opinion Java is a very good language to get you started in programming as a whole. Um, I think that just because I think programming languages like C++ might be a little bit too complicated with things like memory management and pointers, so it might actually scare you away from programming. And um, things like, say, Python might be a little bit too easy just because some of the syntax doesn't actually transfer over to a traditional language like um, C++ or Java. So Java is just a good middle ground. It's a good springboard if you want to learn Java and then jump from that to another programming language. So the rest of this video is just going to be me talking a little bit more about Java and some of the things you can do with it. So if you guys just want to jump in and get started, feel free to hit the next video. Um, click on that link and that's where we'll, we will actually get started setting up Eclipse, our programming environment. So things you can do with Java are pretty much anything. Um, there's so much you can do with the platform. So you can do game programming, you can do web applet programming, so things like um, online web browser games, you can do um, you can do graphics related things, you can do pretty much you can program anything and put it on a Mac, put it on a PC, Windows, Linux. The nice thing about um, Java is that it runs in a, something called a virtual machine so you can actually distribute it between different platforms like Mac and Windows pretty darn easily. So that's one nice thing about Java. Um, in terms of game programming for Java, games like RuneScape, um, who hasn't played RuneScape are coded in Java, and Minecraft, the initial version, are also coded in Java. So um, there are opinions across the board in terms of um, what, what people think the best programming language for games are, but basically, um, the way I see it, Java is really good for medium to low level graphic games, and C++ is the one where you um, want to learn just to use really graphics intensive games and um, kind of push your processor to the limit. But again, if you are looking into game development, I know if I were like coming into this tutorial and I didn't have any programming experience, I'd be like, oh, well, I want to go to C++ because it's the most complicated and the most powerful. Well, if you want to do game programming in general or um, complex programming, you generally want to learn more than one language, particularly in game development, you basically need to know Java and C++. So Java is a good starting point to spring off from to go to C++. So um, another nice thing about Java is this is probably going to be a future tutorial series I do actually is going to be Android development. So um, Android uses a very similar, it's kind of like another version of Java for programming um, mobile phones. So you can jump in from this tutorial into Android development pretty um, seamlessly, I think. So after you learn all this syntax, it will apply well to Android development. So um, that's pretty much it for Java. I'm gonna try to keep these videos between four and eight minutes long. Um, if you guys like these videos, it really helps me if you give um, them a thumbs up. And if you end up liking these videos and want to see more of them in the future, um, you can always hit that subscribe button below. So with that, um, I will see you guys in the next video where we actually start setting up Eclipse. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.